10 Best Filipino Movies on Netflix. Streaming services have a nearly limitless selection to watch a movie at home. And Netflix, in particular, has a good selection of local films if you're looking for them. Here is our list of the 10 best Filipino movies on Netflix. Number 10. Birdshot There are two reasons to watch Birdshot. First, it was chosen to represent the country in the Best Foreign Film category at the 90th Academy Awards. And second, it is the first Filipino film Netflix acquired for worldwide distribution on its platform. After a young girl shoots a protected Philippine eagle, a police officer is diverted from an investigation into the disappearance of a busload of farmers to find the eagle's killer. The film is part social commentary and part coming-of-age story. The film is engrossing from beginning to end. Number 9. Buy Bust Anne Curtis, who is often prim and proper, transforms into a tough police officer who is part of an elite team in the Manila Police District's Narcotics Division. When an initial operation to apprehend a major drug lord fails, she and her team are led into a hellish encounter in the Manila's wild slums. By Bust can be viewed as a commentary on the Duterte administration's drug war. But it's also a gut-wrenching spectacle and one of director Eric Mati's best. Number 8. Heaven's Waiting Eddie Garcia had a long and distinguished career as one of the country's most versatile and beloved actors. Garcia co-starred with Gina Pareño as one half of a senior couple forced to wait in the purgatory before the final judgment. Despite having committed to different people while still alive, the two reconnect and realize their feelings for each other, making a decision that will reverberate throughout eternity. It's a moving story about the transcendent power of love and a reminder that romance isn't just for the young. Number 7. Waiting for Sunset Waiting for Sunset is another film that focuses on relationships between more mature roles. It tells the story of Teresa and Celso, a couple who have been together for years despite not being married. Teresa's actual legal husband Bene is still alive and well, and he informs her that he is terminally ill. The film cleverly addresses the society's obsession with youth at the expense of the elderly. And it depicts the reality that the often thorny issues of love and relationships affect everyone regardless of age. Number 6. Kita 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 Kita, arguably one of the best Filipino romantic comedies in recent years, stars Alessandra De Rossi and Empoy Marquez in their pivotal roles. Leia suffers from stress-induced temporary blindness after witnessing her fiancé flirting with another woman. Tonyo, her next-door neighbor, begins to assist her, and the two develop a closeness that soon blossoms into a romance. We won't give away the ending, but there's a good chance you will be as captivated as countless others after seeing this film. Number 5. Ordinary People Teenagers living on the street as petty thieves have their lives turned upside down when they become parents. That's a story in and of itself, but things get worse when their baby is kidnapped. The young couple's attempt to reclaim their child occupies a significant portion of the film. But it can also be interpreted as a commentary on the deliberate attempt to sweep away the destitute and uneducated the so-called dregs of societies whom with those with means would prefer to see disappear. The film is as much an emotional experience as it is an eye-opening experience. Number 4. That Thing Called Tadhana 
There are numerous escapist romantic comedy Filipino films on Netflix, but few have the realism, depth, and humor and heart of that thing called Tadhana. Mace and Anthony meet in Rome, argue on the plane back to Manila about one more chance and the concepts of love and romance, and eventually take an impromptu road trip to Baguio and Sagada. The film is far from perfect. But what distinguishes it from so many other old tired Pinoy rom-coms is the razor-sharp writing of Miss Antoinette Hadaune and the effortless natural performances of the leads. Number 3. Die Beautiful Most people know Paolo Balesteros as the funny guy we see on It Bulaga. But if you had any doubts about his acting abilities, Die Beautiful dispels them. Paolo Balesteros portrays the struggles of an underrepresented and misunderstood community as transgender makeup artist Trisha Echaviria, with grace, humor, and charm. This sometimes funny, ultimately tragic character study is rounded out by a strong supporting cast. Number 2 Unforgettable Sara Jeronimo stars as Jasmine, a girl with special needs alongside an adorable dog named Happy, as they attempt to travel from Manila to Baguio, where her grandmother is ill. For years, the singer and actress has been a box office success with a cutesy romantic comedies. But in this film, she draws on her own acting chops to deliver a standout performance in a truly well, unforgettable film. Number 1. Lola Igna A 100-plus-year-old woman living in a sleepy rural town is just going through the motions, waiting for the sweet release of death to put her out of her misery. The possibility that she is the world's oldest living grandmother, however, has the entire town in a frenzy. The appearance of a mysterious stranger with a surprising secret complicates matters even more. Look no further if you are looking for truly original Filipino storytelling with a fantastic cast. That's all for this video. Until next time.